Well, didn't I tell you this is what was going to happen? This is exactly what was supposed to happen and what they wanted to happen with the real estate business. I want to talk a little bit about that today because the market has changed. The way that we get paid or compensated has changed. And frankly, a lot of agents are scared. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every single week to help you in growing your real estate business. I want to talk a little bit about all of the changes that are happening in this market as a whole. See, we see the outside of what's going on, the changes that are happening, a lot of the articles that are being published and that type of thing. What we're not really thinking about is the mental mindset of the real estate agent. What's happening to the high level real estate agent, to that mid-level agent, and to those that have been struggling or only working their sphere of influence. So sometimes they got a lot of closing, sometimes they have nothing at all. I wanted to talk a little bit about that because those are the ones that have been in the most danger. And in reality, what's happened since this change of August 17th, these changes that have happened is the big guys are eating up more business. They're making more money. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about this before we started here today. I don't believe I've talked to any top producer that has kept their business the same or that it's went down since August 17th. Every single one of them is having the biggest business they've ever had in their life, attracting more business than ever before. And there's several reasons for that. Number one, they're not afraid. They're going directly into it. They're leaning into it and they're bumping up their marketing to get higher responses. Meanwhile, those that are timid, nervous, not real sure how to handle it, met with one client and they weren't willing to sign a contract, you know, whatever their issue is, they're just pulling back their punches. They're actually defeated through forfeit. They're not losing the game. They're quitting the game. And there's an awful lot of agents that are doing just that. I want this to be a message of inspiration for you, but to actually get you doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, if you're doing that, your business is going up. This is a good thing. Uh, I got bad news for you. Being that this happened six weeks ago, if you don't have at least three or four more buyers signed to a contract working with you, if you don't have at least two or three more sellers, like if you haven't met anybody, let's be honest, you're licensed and you're not practicing, right? That's that's not degrading in any way. That's just literally what's happening. You're licensed and in the last six weeks, you haven't practiced. You're doing all kinds of other stuff. You're just not meeting with clients to help them with their real estate needs. But if you've only done this a couple of times, you really need to step up that approach you're using to gobble up more business for yourself. There's no question there's going to be carnage. There's going to be a large number of agents that are leaving. They're not leaving because of failure. They're leaving because of forfeit. If you try, you succeed. Now, obviously, you can't do silly things. You've got to do the more profitable approaches. But you look at like uh, last week or actually the week before last, uh, I did that three part series and it was just phenomenal with the amount of info I gave, the direction and guidance that I gave to real estate agents. We talked a little bit about how to buy all their debt down and to create a net worth for themselves and all of that. Uh, it was so incredibly helpful. I, I probably had more feedback from those three parts than any other training I've ever done. I did it for free online. We had 5,000 agents in attendance. Uh, so it was very helpful. but. I think the reason they're getting results, the reason we're seeing now these testimonials and things happening from that totally free training is because they actually did something. I think I gave them the, the confidence or the, you know, they didn't have that fear of failure or that fear of rejection or all of those things that have, which by the way, uh, you're in sales. You will have failure every day of your life and you will have rejection every day of your life. Only you can create a situation where you don't have wins every day of your life. You're the only one that can stop you from doing that. But you have to be okay with those failures. You have to be okay with that rejection in order to get some of the wins. I talk about all the time, you know, uh, Kobe Bryant missed more shots than anybody in history. He has the record for the most failures. Uh, Babe Ruth, most strikeouts. I think Reggie Jackson was second. They also have an awful lot of them runs. They were swinging for the fences. You need to do exactly the same thing. Been phenomenal, but uh, I, I always want to try and give as much value as possible with no ulterior motive or anything like that uh, to try and help all of our followers and most importantly, help agents with the direction they need with all the crap that's been thrown out there lately and truly trying to make us the bad guys.
last election year, it was the cops, you know, defund the cop. Now we're trying to defund the real estate agents. Um, so, you know, we're the bad guy. We're the criminals. We've been taking all the equity from everybody forever. We've all always been overpaid. Meanwhile, we're just trying to pay the bills. Number one, those that have good businesses, they're making more money than they ever have before. This is the best thing that's ever happened to them. Many of them, I don't care if you agree with it or not. I'm just telling you what I've seen. Uh, you may not agree with their practices. Some of them are getting three and a half and four percent on buyer representation. These buyers can go with anyone. They can get somebody to help them for one percent. They're getting three and a half and four percent. They've never been so excited that now nobody else dictates their income. They get to earn what they're worth. They can earn whatever they negotiate. They can earn whatever they can create a value stack to be worth that money to them. So uh, they're doing very, very well. And the other thing, number two, that I've seen is those that don't have clear direction, that don't know what to do every day, they're not losing through failure. They're losing through forfeit. They're simply not trying. They're giving up. They're, they're not making a real effort because they're afraid they're going to get in front of someone and it may not go well. Or they're going to run ads and they may not get a point. They may not get uh, leads from that. But let me assure you, I, I want to guarantee you one thing. If you're getting in front of people, there are going to be times it doesn't go well. If you swing at a ball, there's going to be times that you get a strike. But there's also going to be times that you get a home run. I'd recommend you swing. It's a whole lot better than standing there, letting the business blow by you over and over and over. So uh, we are seeing that massive change in the business. And I think if you make your change, look, the sun is going to race me here for me to get done before it's right in my eyes. Um, but if you are really doing a good job of promoting your services, what it is that you offer and leaning into that fear and, and knowing the only way you're going to do better is to meet more people, to get more appointments, to sign more contracts, to negotiate more commissions, whatever that structure is, this is how you're going to make it happen. Uh, so um, I think you'll find that getting that direction and, and actually implementing it the right way, it's going to make a big difference for you. This is how you're going to make a change. I promise you, waiting is never going to help you. That is never a good idea. Time fixes nothing. Time is not going to fix a sales business. It's never going to get easier. You're never going to be more ready. You're never going to feel more prepared. You just have to go out there and do it. And uh, this separation that I'm seeing, every time I talk to somebody that's doing well, they're simply confident. So they're implementing and they're getting results. But those people that lack that confidence, they're losing through forfeit. They're not losing through failure. I wish I could get them to fail more. If I could get them to fail, damn, they'd win. They'd get some wins and some losses. But if you're forfeiting, you're causing yourself to fail for fear that you're going to fail. You're guaranteeing your failure so that you don't have bad results sometimes doesn't really make sense. Hey, it's Greg Luther. And listen, if you don't follow this channel, there's a good chance you're never going to see me again. I consistently put out regular content and it's extremely helpful for real estate agents to grow their business. I want to keep you up to date on what's working so that you're in the know and you can take action accordingly. So be sure that you like and comment here, but most importantly, make sure you follow, share, and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on anything. I'm here to help you in growing your business and I'd love to do so. Follow right now.